Hi guys, today we learn 8.2 measure of dispersion, subtractive 8.2 AI. Use textbook page the 223 question 2. Okay, this one is frequency table. I want to find the range and in the quartile range before we don't use frequency table but this one we use frequency table so if in frequency table the content is the what you need to do if you see the frequency table so sure you need to find the cumulative frequency you need to find how to calculate the cumulative frequency so in front, fine, bring in down, okay, but how does sound like this? Okay, and then how we get the second part? That means it's 5 plus 10, so we get 15. How we get this one? So that means it's 15 plus 7, so we get 22. How we get this one? So 22 plus 6, we get 28. 怎么拿这一个呢? 就用28加3等于31 And how we get this one? It's 31 plus 1, we get 32 Okay, now I want to find the range How I get range? Using the largest value minus the smallest value Remember, it's using the measure part, not the frequency 用frequency,不用人数,而是看我们要找的measurements Ok, so, is largest value is 9, smallest value is 4 So, 9 minus 4,大减小, so it should be 5 Second part, I want to find the interquartile range 我要找 interquartile range, 我要怎样子做呢? 我一定要去找Q1, 一定要去找Q3 if I want to find interquartile range, sure I need to find Q1 and Q3 because interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. So let's say we have n data. How many frequency here? Total frequency is 32. So this 32 I get from here. Oh, you just plus together 5 plus 10 plus 7 plus 6 plus 3 plus 1 you get 32 so this is how i get the 32 so actually i just take from the cumulative frequency the last one is the total so from the frequency table first quartile q1 is 1 over 4 times n remember Frequency table, we don't use n plus 1, 我们没有用 n 加一, 我们只是乘n 罢了 So it's 1 over 4 times 32, because n is 32, so that means it's the 8 person 第八个, this one is until 5, so 5 here is start from 6, 7, 8, so 8 is over here, so q1 is Remember, don't take this one, it's take this one. We take the measurement. Well, we just take the unit, not the range. So, this is fine. Q3 is 3 over 4 times n. So, 3 over 4 times 32 is 24. So, 22 here. So, 23, 24 is here. So, 23, we use 7. So, in the quartile range is Q3 minus Q1, Q3 7, Q1 5. So we get 2. Question 2B. Okay, remember this is frequency table, so we need to find the cumulative frequency. Omen kind of frequency table, it is cumulative frequency. So first in front is to bring down the value. Second, we just do 3 plus 10, 13. 13 plus 13, 26. 26 plus 4, 30. 30 plus 8, 38. 38 plus 6, 44. So, this is the cumulative frequency. 
So now I find the range first. Since I send to a range, range is find the largest value minus the smallest value. Remember, we find the value of score, not frequency. 记得，永远记得 ，range 都是去找我们的 measurement， 不是人数。So 最大的 measurement is fifteen. Smallest is ten. So range is largest minus smallest. 大减小，所以是十五减十等于五。So now I want to find the interquartile range. 我要找 interquartile range. 首先我一定要知道我的人数是多少，我的 n theta 是多少。So I need to know the n theta is forty four. So First quartile is one over four times n. N is forty-four, so it's eleven value. So three is here. So start four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven is here. So what is the value for the score? Is eleven. 第十一个人在这里嘛？这边是找第三个人，第四、第五、第六、第七、第八、第九、第十、第十一都在这里。所以呢 ，the start score 就是十一。Q3 is three over four times n. N is forty-four. So I get thirty-three. So thirty over here, 三十，三十一，三十二，三十三在这里。So the score is fourteen. So interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. So Q3 is fourteen. Q1 is eleven. So the interquartile range is three. Is it very easy? 是不是很简单呢？只要你有去做，你都 OK 的。